Hello everyone, uh, we're going to talk about how to create uh, Android Studio project, uh, one of the first project. Uh, before uh, to continue, you have to install Android Studio, in my case it's uh, version 2.2.3. But if your version is different, it's probably ap approximately the same way of steps. Um, first of all, we have to talk about what should you already know before programming for Android. Uh, first of all, you have to know Java. Java is a language. You have to be uh, confident is uh, most uh, Java instructions. Um, also, you need to know object-oriented programming, inheritance, polymorphism, method overriding. You have to know how to use interfaces, how to provide casting, type casting. You need to know about exception handling mechanism. Of course, you need to know how to debug the code, and you have to know how to read application interface documentation. Yeah, we have a lot of documentation for Android. And finally, you need to know how to use Android Studio IDE, Interface Development Environment. So this is uh, the first screen. Welcome to Android Studio. So we will start new Android project. Uh, this is the name for the project that we want uh, to type. So maybe we can write here first app. This is the main name and you can write your name and uh, with dot we have to use uh, the main name with a couple of identifiers like in this case. You are not required to include C++ support because it will be pure Java application. Uh, this will be location for your application so this is a good idea to uh, remember location so you know that you need to find it later next uh, we're going to create uh, application for phone and tablet and uh, we can choose uh, any of these platforms uh, in this list uh, for example i want to set up application for android 4.1 uh, there will be application 16 press next From all of these default new project icons, it's a good idea to use uh, empty activity first if you want to create a just simple project and start from the scratch. So don't choose the basic activity with this uh, extra feature. You don't need it at this moment. Next. So this is the name of the main activity uh, and layout name. So I would recommend you do not change those things. Uh, at the first stage and then you press finish so once you press finish we uh, we see the android studio will start uh, building application so it will take maybe up to one minute and uh, when it's finished you uh, you can see application loaded into the android studio windows so what is the structure of, of the project? So on the left side you see uh, a representation in files. In the right side you see uh, the content of the files that you click. So for example, right now main activity is selected and you see uh, the Java code for the main activity. So basically main activity is the first file that you will have by default. Uh, it's sitting in this package that you ordered. Uh, it's imported automatically to libraries and uh, uh, class main activity extends application compat activity. This is a base class for uh, Android application for activity uh, level. So what this uh, class has only one method on create. So this uh, method will be called when activity first created. And uh, what this method has, uh, in this line we call uh, super on create, which is uh, the same version of on create from super class, and we create. Uh, I'm sorry, we call set content view. This is where we connect to the layout of this application with the name activity main. So where this file activity main located? This is actually a XML file. It's a layout file. We can find this layout in. RS folder in layout subfolder and this is actually the name of activity main 
XML. You see, they don't specify extension in this Java case. So double click on this file, and uh, you see actually XML file in separate window. You want to change title of the application first. Application you want to change it here. So this is uh, this string is actually saved in values strings XML file. So if you double click on string XML file, you will see the, you will be able to see um, application name first application. So you can actually edit this string by using, for example, my uh, first application and save this string and which is will be uh, automatically reflected in the title application. Let's show how to change uh, this text using string resource. So let's uh, move this resource somewhere in the middle or maybe a little bit upper side. Uh, go to the right panel and instead of hello world, which was default text you hear, we press on three dots on the right side. Click to pick a resource. And once we click uh, pick a resource, we can click on the any resource on the left side with uh, with the value. Okay, so let's create a new value for this string XML. So we'll create a new string resource. I'll type here string. Name will be, um, for example, application content. It's just name of the variable, right? And uh, after this, I will write this application will be counting button clicks. All right. Okay, so hopefully I didn't make any mis any errors here, but uh, apparently I did because I have here. Um, okay, I just got it. I have a misspelling name. Okay. Okay. Right now everything should be fine. All right. So go back to activity main XML and instead of this uh, hello world resource, I will press three dots, click to pick resource, and I will be clicking on the application content variable and click OK. So in this case, I will receive string representation in this in this text view. Next, I'm going to show you how to change text size. So in this case, uh, you have to expand a right panel for the all properties for this selected text view. And for example, change size from 12 to, for example, 36 and hit enter. So in this case, you see that uh, text size is different. And uh, you see we just need to take change text alignment. Uh, let's check text alignment to uh, center so information will be centered and you can move a little bit higher the whole section of the text all right uh, so if you want to know how to write application to count button clicks please open next video thank you